Hey guys and gals, Eric again from LED Grow Lights Depot with another LED Grow Light review for your viewing. This time I'll be reviewing and part testing the Horticulture Lighting Group Elite 360 with Bluetooth controller and scheduler. And hit the subscribe button below if you want to see more in-depth reviews of the latest and greatest LED grow lights. I'll give you three seconds to do that. Okay, let's get started. The HLG Elite 360 measures 26 inches by 6 inches by 4 inches and it weighs 14.5 pounds. The Elite is designed to replace a 315 watt ceramic metal halide or 600 watt HPS. The fixture contains two custom designed Elite LED boards which sit on a thick aluminum panel. The boards contain around a 4000 Kelvin diode boosted with 630 nanometer red and 660 nanometer deep red. On the other side of the panel are two pin heat sinks, which assist in drawing off heat from the LED boards. The center of the unit contains an Inventronics 320 watt driver. On top of the driver sits the Bluetooth controller slash scheduler, which comes wired to the driver. The unit is passively cooled and comes with metal hanging clips. There's a three year manufacturer's warranty on this light and it's designed and made in the USA. I measured the wattage draw from the wall and got just over 349 watts, which is slightly under the 370 watts that HLG advertises this fixture at. Expect a light output, or PPF, of 754 micromoles per second with the plastic cover over the LEDs. Without the cover, the PPF jumps up to 810 micromoles per second, about a 7% increase. The PAR efficacy of the fixture clocks in at 2.04 micromoles per joule with a plastic lens and 2.2 micromoles per joule without the lens. The plastic covers come installed on the light and they create an IP65 waterproof seal. Removing the cover will increase the light output and efficacy, but you will lose the waterproof characteristics of the LED boards. One of the top features of this fixture is that it comes with a Bluetooth controller and scheduler. There's a link on the Elite product page on our website to download the iOS or Android version of the controller app. After installing the app, you can connect to one or several lights. The controller allows you to turn the lights on or off, adjust the intensity, and set an on-off schedule for the light over the veg or flowering period. Once programmed, the controller will remember your schedule and the light is set to grow. The fixture will cover around a 2 foot by 4 foot area to 2.5 foot by 5 foot area for flowering. So for the best intensity in a 4x4 or 5x5, I would recommend using two of these units. These fixtures may also be used as a top light in grow rooms or in greenhouses. The hanging height based off of our PAR measurements is around 18 inches for flower and about 24 inches or more for veg. I tested the PPFD of this fixture in a reflective 4x4 Gorilla Grow tent. Let's see those readings now. The first measurement that I'm going to take is at 36 inches. You can see that we're right at about 350 PPFD right in the center of the tent and underneath the light. And as I move towards the edge of the tent, you can see that number stays pretty close to 350. Just dropped about 315. I'm trying to keep this in about a 3x3 three three square. My tent's 4x4, four four, so just keeping this uh, meter or excuse me, sensor a little bit closer to the light and away from the tent. But you can see at this distance, the PPFD is pretty uniform across the footprint. It's gonna drop a little bit in the corner and edges, but um, you know, this is a pretty good height for veg. All right, the next measurement is at 24 inches. 24 inches, you can see that it's up to about 515 PPFD. Just moving this to the back edge or close to the edge, I should say. Drop to about 350 and into that corner, right around 350. It's gonna increase as I'm moving underneath the LED board. You can see it increases there and then drops a little bit in the center. So pretty good PPFD for veg. And the next measurement is gonna be at 18 inches now we're starting to hit flowering intensities. You could see that was just above 600. Moving to the edge, just under 400, and into the corner. Looks like 330. Increase a little bit here. Looks like around 670 or so. That number's gonna climb as I move underneath the LED board. It's like 750 right underneath the LEDs. 
And about the same with this one, of course, about 800 PPFD. Just gonna move it around, show you some intensities. So I would keep it at this height if you wanted to flower in a two by four or a three by three area. And lastly, I wanna show you what this module puts out at about 12 inches. So right in the middle, it's about 710 PPFD. Notice that uniformity is not as good compared to when the unit's higher. Into the corner, all the way down to about 275. Climbing up here, about 800, 900, over 1,000. And as we move closer, again, this is at 12 inches, we're at 1,300. So this might be a little bit too close um, just because you're hitting some pretty big numbers there and the uniformity is not as good. So I would keep this fixture between, let's say like 18 inches for flowering. You could go a little bit closer or a little bit further, but I think 18 would be ideal. So what do I think about the HLG Elite 360? Well, it's obviously a high quality fixture with top of the line diodes and driver. Two of these fixtures will blow away a 4x4 area for flower. The design is original and the controllability via the Bluetooth app is top notch. My only gripe is that this fixture is not as efficient and is a little pricier than HLG's other fixtures. Overall, the Elite is significantly better than many of the other LED grow lights on the market and I would definitely use this in my garden. Click the link in the description to view the price and or purchase this fixture. And smash the like button below and be sure to subscribe for more LED grow light reviews, giveaways, and awesome LED content. Follow us on Instagram too, link in the description. Goodbye for now.